Hey YouTubers, Mike B back with another video today. Uh, yesterday I posted up a video about the uh, current price guide kind of for bayonets, military bayonets, and I had a fellow YouTuber ask me a question about the difference between a Yugoslavian M1924 bayonet and a Yugoslavian M1948 bayonet. So I'll just kind of make this video to show you, it'll be short, sweet, and to the point. Pretty basic, standard. Um, the Yugoslavian M24 bayonet, or the Serbian M24 rifle that it goes on, uh, were designed still with kind of the old world mentality of you need a huge long bayonet. So this is the 1924 bayonet on top, and this is the M48 bayonet that came later. So instantly, right here, you can, I'm trying to get this all in the same frame, that's kind of difficult with the 24 bayonet. So we'll line these up, and instantly right away you can see there's a pretty substantial difference in the uh, length. Uh, if you check out the other video I did about the why the length of the bayonet's gotten shorter, It'll kind of explain that reason, but we're not really going to do that in this video to keep it under five minutes, hopefully. So, I'll take this measuring tape right here, okay? So on the 1924 bayonet, you've got a 15-inch blade. Its uh, total overall length is about 20 inches. It's about 20 and a quarter inches, okay? And on the M48 bayonet, you've got a 9 and 3 quarter inch blade. So 15 minus 9 and 3 quarters, I'm not going to do the math because I suck at it, but you can figure it out. It's a pretty substantial difference, right? The overall length of the M48 bayonet is 15 inches, so it's a total of 5 inches shorter for the overall length. So it's about, well, oh, it's five, 5 and a quarter inches. How about that? Okay, I just did math in my head. 5 and a quarter inches is the uh, blade difference, so that's pretty interesting. So yeah, basically this one was the old school bayonets, and it took, for whatever reason, Serbia and Yugoslavia a little bit, a little bit, uh, longer to kind of figure out the whole shorter bayonet philosophy in the earlier part of the 20th century, in the 1920s and 30s specifically, um, to, when everyone else was going to a shorter bayonet, and uh, they, for whatever reason, designed this and just didn't. So that's the big difference. Uh, the handles are relatively the same style. You know, you've got the the little weird shape, looks like a eagle on the German ones, but then you've got the button, the release button right there. They're relatively the same. The M48 bayonet's a little bit wider and bigger, the handle itself. Um, serial number's still on the same side. These were also produced, these were Yugoslavian, I should have mentioned that. These were Serbian, okay, because Yugoslavia didn't exist until later after these were designed. So this is actually Yugoslavia, so it's going to be marked with the, the Factory 44 mark instead of um, the... Well, this one doesn't have a marking on it, but usually they're AT3 or BT3 for the factories. I don't remember exactly which, which factories they are, but they'll be marked with um, that. So, yeah, that's that's the main difference. Um, some of these 24 bayonets were blued. A lot of them were in the white. Most of these Yugo M48 bayonets were blued. Um, trying to figure out if there's any other differences. Hopefully this this visual representation will kind of, um, kind of help you out, you know, because I did them separately in that other video. So, yeah. Hopefully that answered questions. I've got this particular M24 bayonet for sale in Gunbroker. Just so happens. So I'll post a link to that in the description. And I'll post a link to the bayonet length video. So you guys can go see why they got shorter and what took Serbia so long to catch up with that. I really don't answer that question, but you can kind of just guess on your own. Maybe they just wanted a longer bayonet. Who knows? So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're just seeing this and you learned something, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. We we'll play more videos like this. Uh, for all the people who are already subscribed, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching so much, and we will see you next time.